Child of God, God bless you so much. Thank you for your time. May God bless you for your time once again because I appreciate you for spending time to watch the videos I'm uploading. God richly bless you, increase you, expand you, and multiply the beauty of the work of your hands. Child of God, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so and recommend the videos to your friends. They are important series we are embarking on. And this series on Great Tribulation is very, you know, helpful as far as understanding the eschatology. You know, the eschatology. When it comes to Christianity, we talk about eschatology. Issues about the end times, the end events and all that. There are so many conflicting issues, but the Bible is clear. And I want us to zoom straight into it. Like the video and share the video to your friends. Shall we pray? Spirit of the Almighty God, there is no one like you. There is no ability and capacity in the world like you. Help us to be faithful. Help us to walk in holiness even in these end times. In Jesus' name. Child of God, I believe God will help you to understand. This is part two of the series on the Great Tribulation. And I encourage you to watch the first part if you haven't done so. Now, we have established the fact that before the Great Tribulation, just as Jesus said, as it were in the days of Noah, then he said, remember Lord's wife or remember Lord." Now, anytime Jesus was talking about the end times, he would say that, he would tell the believers, he would refer them to the days of Noah and also refer them to the days of Lot. Why? Because in these two instances, before the judgment of God fell, the righteous was saved. So go and watch the first video and you understand what I'm talking about. Now, why we believe that the church, you know, will not be a part of the cataclysmic events which are coming. Child of God, God will not punish his body because the church is the body of Christ. Don't forget it. God will not fight his own body. And if you understand the very nature of the great tribulation, you understand why, you know, we are saying what we are trying to put across. Today, I have a topic I have titled, The Satanic Trinity. The Satanic Trinity. Now, in the book of Revelations, I'm going to give you some scriptures. And as I go on, I'll bring the rest. Please, can you make references? Write down Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. Revelation chapter 13, verse 1. There are others, but I'll give them to you as I go on. Now, don't forget, I'm talking about Satanic Trinity, the Great Tribulation, part two, the Satanic Trinity. There are three essential elements of evil, evil personalities in the Great Tribulation. The first is the dragon, the second is the beast, and the third is also a beast. So there are two beasts, a first beast and a second beast. But the head of this evil is the dragon. Who is the dragon? Who is the first beast? And who is the second? Now, why do I call it the satanic trinity? Now, one thing that you must never forget is that Satan is the great counterfeiter of God. He only tries to counterfeit God. I tell people that if you know the, the kind of person, the personality he is, you would never be afraid of him. You are in the light. He is in the dark. You are greater than him because the greater one lives in you. He counterfeits God. Whatever he does, he tries to counterfeit God and deceive God. He wants to be like God. Don't forget what Isaiah said. And out of this pride, he was brought low. Now, this dragon is... Now, read also Revelation chapter 16, 
verse 1 to 14 and 16. If I go through all these verses, I'm telling you I'm not going to finish today. You know, I want to give you the message and make the video shorter. Write down and please do well, do yourself good and make references to these verses. God bless you. Child of God. Write down Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. Now, this dragon, this dragon is Satan, that is Lucifer. In the Greek, the word is Diabolos, the devil. This dragon empowers the first beast and the second beast. The first beast is the Antichrist. Now, this Antichrist is going to be the ultimate world dictator, the ultimate world dictator. And then the second beast will become the false prophet who, you know, work or work in his ministry, satanic ministry with the Antichrist. Now, let us go on. So I've said that the beast in Revelation chapter 13 verse 1, all right, we can also find that he's called the beast of the seas and where is he going to come from he will come from the gentile nations the gentile nations now read first john chapter 2 verse 18 first john chapter 4 verse 3 second john verse 7 now so this um the beast which i'm talking about is actually the antichrist the ultimate and final dictator of the world in Daniel chapter 9, he's called the prince that shall come. Daniel called him the prince that shall come. In Matthew, Jesus calls him the abomination of desolation. The abomination of desolation. Who, you know, try to impersonate God and try to be God and go to the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem. Because the temple will be rebuilt. And that is one of the major keys, you know, towards the end of the world and towards the second part of the second coming of Christ when the temple is finally rebuilt. Now, so this Antichrist is an incarnation of evil. <laughs> the incarnation of evil. So we have the, the dragon, which I've described. Then the first beast, which is the Antichrist. Then we have the second beast, that is the false prophet in Revelations chapter 13, verse 11. And he is going to be an effective, now don't forget, underline the word, an effective religious leader of the final apostate church of the world. An effective apostate leader of the final apostate church of the world. You know, when you talk about apostasy, an apostate church is a church which has gone, um, they have gone their own way. They have lost any relationship with God. And there are so many, you know, you can see the churches. A lot of the churches are moving in that di direction. So many churches, the leaders don't hear of God. In fact, a lot of the things that they do are just mere gimmicks. You know, professional administrative staff, excellent marketing. There is no spirit in these churches. And eventually, the Antichrist is going to be an effective religious leader of the final apostate church of the world. I am making these examples to, to make references to what is happening in the world because ultimately it is the same people who are not going to be raptured who are going to be part of this you know satanic trinity. So the satanic trinity is Satan who impersonates God, the Antichrist who is trying to impersonate Jesus, and the false prophet who is going to make a lot of is going to work signs and wonders who is going to impersonate a kind of the Holy Spirit in terms of the manifestations of miracles and powers. Because don't forget, don't forget, don't forget this. Praise the Lord. Don't forget it. That at the beginning, at the beginning, at the beginning of the earthly three and a half years of Jesus, he was empowered by the Holy Spirit. So Jesus, you know, was empowered by the Holy Spirit. And I've said that this false prophet will perform wonders like Elijah by commanding fire, you know, to come down from heaven. And this false prophet will glorify and magnify, okay? He's going to glorify and magnify the 
antichrist or the dictator the false prophet will magnify and glorify the false prophet um the, the false prophet or glorify and magnify the antichrist don't forget it okay so satan is the counterfeiter of god the antichrist is a dictator or the ruler who is going to counterfeit jesus and of course the the false prophet okay is a kind of anti-holy spirit okay and it's going to counterfeit the holy spirit and jesus jesus has a bride don't forget it i'm trying to explain all this satanic trinity i'm talking about that how satan is trying to impersonate the church and christ and everything to deceive the world jesus has a bride if you look at revelation chapter 2 jesus has a bride and the bride of christ is the church the bride of christ is the church now now satan also has a bride that is the apostate church the whore and that is in revelation chapter 17. so that is the whore the whole church the apostate church is also the bride of satan and today they are roaming around on the earth so don't forget it the holy spirit anointed jesus at the beginning of his three and a half years um, of, of ministry on this earth the false prophet joins the antichrist at the beginning of his first three and a half years of you know the great tribulation child of god this is a presentation on the satanic trinity and i've said that at the beginning of the first three and a half years i've said before that the whole great tribulation is seven years that is one week in terms of daniel's prophecy so at the beginning this false prophet will join himself to the antichrist just as the holy spirit anointed jesus at the beginning of his first three and a half years of earthly ministry and this whole system is empowered by the dragon which is the diabolos that is satan or lucifer this is the satanic trinity and their whole modus operandi and the purpose of their work is to deceive the world especially jacob that is why one of the descriptions of the great tribulation is called the day of jacob's trouble because satan is trying to deceive the world trying to you know promulgate and bring about peace in the middle east where you know many leaders have tried all to no avail to bring peace to that part of the world but this kind of satanic trinity will succeed and then eventually bible says just as the whole world says oh finally there is peace there is peace then comes sudden destruction that is when the lord god almighty will bring judgment upon the inhabitants of the earth it is going to be a day of great cataclysmic and destructive events on this earth i'll spend time to talk about the nature of the woes that god will bring upon this earth but through all this process god will save his people god will seal his children now these are the tribulation saints not you and i because for us according to the bible the day we became born again we were sealed with the holy spirit i am already sealed because of the holy spirit i have he says i will never leave you nor forsake you and it shall be with us even unto the end of the world and we are now one with god so i am sealed by the spirit of god but those who have not accepted christ who are going to miss the rapture who will be here at this time and those who rejected the truth but some of them will remember these words these messages and they will give yeah um, they will accept god you know and the bible says they shall also be saved that is um, we call them tribulation saints now these events are you know anyone who doesn't have the holy spirit will laugh at some of these things but they are going to happen the time of noah happened the time of sodom and gomorrah it happened the days of lot happened what happened in egypt is not just mere historical news this all happened these days and these things are going to happen prepare yourself and walk in holiness and righteousness because the lord is coming god bless you and once again i thank you 
if you have not shared the message share it like the video please subscribe to the channel i thank you for your time and may god help us to make it to heaven god bless you this is your brother collins thank you